Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a 3 gang ZB, uh, Zimi Smart Zigbee switch uh, to a Smart Thing Hub. Um, I've already prepared my Zimi Smart switch. I've got a 3 gang switch here, which I purchased from Zimi Smart website. Um, <clears throat> and this I'm going to connect it to the Smart Thing Hub. Uh, preparation wise, first connect all the switches. Um, connect the switches to all the lights and test them to make sure they're uh, working. So I've connected them and I'm going to test them. So that's switch one working, switch two, and switch three. Okay, so they're all working now. Now, the other thing is um, to connect a three gang switch the smart thing you will need a device handler you will also need a binding uh, app for three gang switch and you will also need a virtual um, virtual device uh, manager a virtual device manager will create uh, virtual switches okay um, so I've created a script which uh, uh, which tells how to do that so this will be available. Um, available. I've just made notes on there. I'll show you. Okay. So first and first, first of all, we need to download these device handler and install these at the uh, at the Smart Thing Developer Tool on, on online. So you have to go into your account under the Smart Thing Developer Tool, uh, select your hub and then install these um, so first of all download the three gang device handler three gang smart app and virtual device manager um, i've already done that i'll show you under here so this is my um smart thing virtual developer tool okay and i'm under device handler i've already installed ui Zigbee wall switch 3 gang. Um, I have downloaded it from the links I have provided in that. So this is the link and you can <clears throat> just copy the whole thing um, and uh, paste it, paste it under. So if you go here and say create new device handler and uh, say from code code and then paste it here uh, once you paste it here uh, all you have to do is then at the bottom say create um, and all the um, and when you save it you need to publish it for I'll show you how to, how to do it um, go back to the device handler, my device handler and if this is the one which I created the Three gang switch, so I'll click on that. So so I had actually saved it here. So what you have to do then is create and then press save, save button, and then press publish publish for me and that's done then second thing is you need to then download the three gang smart app which I've already linked here Just copy all that and then go into your smart app the smart app and I've already done it but I'll show you how to do it again um, that's your uh, wall switch binder 1.1 for three gang switch um, click on edit so it's the same you have to actually select a new smart app and uh, in this case since I've already created it I'm just going to go into edit and show you where to paste it and then say and code under the code uh, you'll see that I've already pasted here the same thing save it and once you have saved it, publish it. Make sure you publish, otherwise it won't work for me. Once you have published it, it's all ready to go. Now you're done. 
One more thing you'll need to add is the virtual device manager. Um, it's a um, um, it's a smart app. I've already um, given the link in the script and I've already opened the link here. So you will see that the virtual device manager code is in here. What you do is copy that code and then put in say new smart app and by from code and then paste it here. Once you have pasted it here and then save it um, and publish it, then the virtual device manager, I've already got it here, the virtual device manager will be available for you. So if I've got the three gang device handler, uh, the three gang binder app and the virtual device manager. Now this is ready for you to connect the three gang switch to the smart home. The next step is to connect the semi smart three gang smart switch to the uh, smart thing hub. To do that, uh, you need to uh, start the classic smart thing app, which I've already done here. Once you've done that, go into my home and uh, wait there. Now, the next thing is to um, <clears throat> get the switch to go in pairing mode by pressing the button there till the star light starts blinking. Once it starts blinking, go in there and press the, the plus button to allow it to find the device. Keep trying. So if the, start, the light starts stops blinking, press it again. And put it back in the bed. So there you go, you found the, found the device, okay. So now the event says rename and we'll type in as family room switch. Okay, once it's done, save the device and press OK to pair it. So we've got a new device called family mode. Now what you need to do is, remember you have actually um, uh, downloaded the device handler. We need to link the device handler to this, this particular identified device. So it will be showing here as family room. Switch somewhere here. <clears throat> Go back in things. And you should be able to see the family room switch. Can you see that? Once your switch is connected to the smart thing hub, it will show as a family room switch here, which that's what we have connected and it says, please wait. The reason why it says, please wait, is you need to actually add the device handler to it. To do that, what we'll do is we'll go back onto the developer tool on the website under your account and find, find, Find the family room switch and says things here. Click on that, go down and say edit, and it says thing family room switch. We can probably rename that as room switch, and we need to select that device handler. So go back here. Search for the device handler and probably at the end. So there's my UI Zigbee wall switch 3 gang device handler. Once I've got that, you say update. So once you have updated this, um, if you go back onto your switch and the family room switch. It'll show you the three sub switches, okay? Three sub switches. So switch one. So that's turning on the lights there. So so if you look at here, so switch one is on. Switch sub switch two is on. Switch switch three is on. 
Okay, all three lights are on now. Right. You can turn them off also. That's one off. Two off. Three off. However, this is only one switch with several sub switches. So what we need to do now is create some um, virtual switch. Okay, so I had downloaded the virtual software. So go into auto automation. You can see there. Click on that, and you'll see a virtual device creator. Click on that, and we need to create three switches. Okay, so the first one will be family room switch one. So you get there virtual switch hub three switches first one is the family room switch one so switch one okay and done and you save it then go back into virtual device again and create another switch and this time type it as family room two switch two switch done and save it and once again because there are three switches do it again create another one and this time you say switch three switch three done and save okay once you have done that so if you go in your my home again you should see the three switches so edit three virtual switches So can you see the three virtual switches yes one two and three okay you can turn them off turn all of them off next step is to create or bind the virtual switches we have created so you can see now that i've got family room switch one family room switch two and family room switch three these are all the virtual switches which i have created um now uh, the next process is remember we had the uh, the um, UI um, three gang switch app, uh, smart app, the binder app. So we need to now bring that binder app. So go into automation and the automation, you need to go down, uh, select smart apps, and then you need to go down and say, add a smart app, okay. Go down and see my apps and it should show you the ui wall switch binder three gang switch okay click on that and then it'll ask you questions so which switch do i use to start with so the actual switch which you want to use so if you click on that it'll ask you to select the actual physical switch so in this case the family room switch is a physical switch select that then bind each the three sub switches to each of these virtual switch so first virtual switch you bind it to the family room virtual switch first one and second one you bind it 